My name is Bones Highland. I play for the Los Angeles Clippers from home to Delaware. People have always gravitated towards Sean. He has an infectious laugh. He loves to joke around. He is one of those guys that I call like the Pied Piper. People just follow him and he does light up a room with his personality. He's always done that. Every time we have Bones around our team, he brings a smile to everybody. It didn't matter who the person was, he treated them the same. He's always like the life of the room, everywhere he goes. It's always been like that since he was a kid. Because of the environment that he grew up in, we had to make light of what was going on around us. Because they were around so many different gangs, their friends were getting murdered, friends were going to prison. I think what we became for him was a home away from home. And I think getting him away, 25 minute ride, not getting home till seven o'clock at night because he still had practice here. That's what I think he realized what this place could mean to him. Basketball was his sanctuary because it kept him out of the streets. It kept him focused. It was just his release. That was a release for him. I think you know, Sean Highland is a good inspiration. It made me want to grow up, be just like him. Wilmington mean everything to me. Wherever I go, I'm a rat Wilmington, Delaware proudly. Like that's what raised me. That's where I came up from. That's what I was discovered from. So like I'm always rep that very proudly. The day of the house fire was March 25th, 2018. They could not pinpoint the cause. They just know that it started within an outlet. That day I was out, and Ashan was home. My mother was home with the babies, and all of a sudden my phone started ringing, and it just kept blowing up. Somebody was like, your house is on fire, your house is on fire. I got another call from my son. He said, Mom, you need to get here. The house is on fire. I don't know who's in the house. And it was just a scene like from a movie to see all these firemen, all these people around my house, and then just to hear that they just took out my mother's body, they just took out my nephew. Knowing what he had to go through in high school, jumping out of a second story window, breaking his leg, and not being able to play the, the sport he loves, and how hard, I, I've played sports growing up, how hard that would be if you took that from me, and I wouldn't be mentally prepared for it at that age. It was a journey to see their comeback. He did have to go to a lot of therapy. Basketball's his life, so, to tell him he can't play, what is he going to do now? So that's how he fell into music. Sometimes I think about my life and how I made it. I can't lie, I miss my and I feel faded. It has been very hard for me to just like express my feelings or express like my my thoughts and stuff like that. So I'd rather just go to a mic and just release it there. That's why recording music is so therapeutic. It helped me get over a lot of things and just helped me just like just voice myself, man, honestly. Just hear myself, just, just let them thoughts just release into the mic and just put it into a song. To reach a million streams, just like, wow, like, people really are listening to my music, like, it's crazy. Giving up wasn't an option, fam. He's playing for his grandmother, he's playing for his cousin, which he calls his baby brother. Baby Izzy, man, that's my angel on earth, man. You know, we survived the house fire together, so me and him are really close together, and he's living, like, my whole heart. He's playing for everybody that believed in him also. Seeing Bones in the, in the NBA, that will make me feel as though I gotta work hard for what I want and what I need to make it to the league. Don't worry about what nobody else say. Put them all to the side. Worry about your family and you. That's it. I would just say this. Bones works harder than anybody else, period. We have a lot of talented guys came here, but he worked the hardest. Bones' is, uh, creativity and his craftiness, like for me, I would never want to handicap that. I wanted to give him the freedom to be himself as well. He got art, and so that gives him his confidence to go out there and do some of the things that he do. I'm excited for greatness. Excited to get started, just having an amazing season with my teammates. Came out of Wilmington, took a chance to come here, just as much as he invigorated us. We helped lift him up too. 
the city was with us. You don't see that. I don't see it when I see tragedies happen in the city with other families. The way that they put their arms around us and supported us, it's unheard of. It's not easy. No. Ah. Just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for everybody who came out. This is a surreal moment for me. My emotions is everywhere right now. This place right here has groomed me to who I am today, has turned me into a little boy to a man. I remember telling my mom I wanted to go to Howard. She told me nah, and I, she told me I'm going to St. George's. And ever since then, I thank my mom for that. So, thank you, mom. you know, I thank my mom. I'm forever grateful and grounded for this moment that I'm being granted the number five jersey to never be worn again. I'm so thankful for that. Hog Nation, y'all know what it is. Much love. I love y'all. Show.